welcome back everybody um, this is part two of my Voltron review um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put this guy together and um, show you what, it, what he looks like so uh, first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the, uh, the legs ready fold up the head and fold up his legs push in his, le his tail and uh, there he goes ready. That's the foot ready. Um, you can have also this back part uh, down a little bit further and it kind of adds a little more stability to the foot. Um, you know, it adds more more area to it so you can have it like that if you wish. Uh, the blue lion transforms exactly the same way. Look at this head. And there you go. Pushing the tail, of course. Get the uh, arms, arm pieces. Fold them in. And um, this little piece right here, you need to flip out, and that becomes the connector to where the uh, uh, it connects to the centerpiece. I like to have these feet um, have set back like that so they can uh, make it easier on the uh, on putting them in. Uh, since this is going to be the uh, the right arm, I'm going to go ahead and have this like that so that the elbow can fold this way. There, I have the right arm. Make sure, you put the tail in. Same thing with this guy. Transforms exactly the same way. And um, that in. since this is going to be the left arm, go ahead and turn it that way. And uh, there you have the left arm. And of course, flip this little piece out. Now for the center. What you're going to do is extend his legs. Like so. Then flip both his arms up. And when you're putting these in, make sure that this little the foot is kind of at an angle so that you can push it down like that. And uh, when you push it down, it pulls it in. And if you do it right, when you uh, when you flip this back out, it acts as kind of an automorph where it puts the foot out like that because there's like a little hook in there that, uh, that pulls it out whenever you use it. Alright, so you're going to do the same thing with the other side. Uh -huh. Flip these around to where the red pieces are facing forward. And bring these little deals these little flaps back. Okay. And then I would do it with the um, the robot, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the epic head reveal right here. Like I said, uh, I love epic head reveals, and this is no different. Uh, usually, when you have it in line mode, uh, you can, you know, move the mouth up and down like that. There's a little hidden feature where if you stick your nail in there, you can bring down the head. He's hidden on the roof of the mouth. And just flip out his ears. And he's ready. So, now you can just slide him in to the back side like that. Now, it's not a heavy clip, but um, he will stay in there. I want to make sure that you bring the tail up like that. There you go. So now, get these guys. There's a little, it's a little square peg in there. That will fit right in. Let's put it in there. It does take a little force. But, uh... Oops. Let's see. Hold on. Go. 
do the same thing with this one. And there we have Voltron in all his glory. Now the detail on this guy is just awesome. Um, of course, everything, uh, all the detail goes to uh, what I said before in part one. Um, but this guy just looks as cartoon accurate as you can get with um, combining uh, with the combining lions, mm -hmm. and um, this guy just looks awesome in uh, every way. Um, his articulation is excellent, of course, as with um, the name Masterpiece Shed. The legs do move forward, back, do bend at the knee. Um, the uh, arms can move 360 all the way around. I'm not going to do it because I have one hand on the camera and one hand on this. So, But they do move out, in, bend at the elbow, rotate, even the wrists move around all the way. And, of course, the mouth opens on the lions. The head, like I said, has great articulation. It can move all the way around, can look anywhere. Uh, it is on a ball joint along with three separate uh, pin joints. So, it does look very cool and can do almost almost anything, basically. Uh, the, the, range of mo the range of motion on all these, um, on, on this guy is, is just uh, outstanding and allows for a variety of different awesome poses. Um, the legs, not so much, but... Um, you know, what are you going to do about it? Uh, the arms have the most articulation because of all the joints and everything. It does come with two accessories. It comes with the blazing sword, uh, which does connect. It's got a little pin right here, a little peg, that uh, connects to a hole in the mouth, or the roof of the mouth of the lion. And there you go. It's a blazing sword. And he also comes with the uh, star shield. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but um, it does have a peg in here which does rotate so that you can have it in either the left hand or the right hand. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in this one. This one is kind of tricky to get in because, um, you know, you are kind of st sticking it in there with, with uh, you know, these this big thing kind of blocking your way. So it is kind of tricky to get it in there. But once you do looks very very cool and you know this guy is not as sturdy as I, w as I, w as I would like um, he does feel kind of fragile um, and most of the joints are kind of loose so but if you do plan on having him for display purposes or you know he is alright to you know kind of mess around with a, a little bit every now and then but um, if you do, if you are a huge Voltron fan like I am, a uh, robot fan in general, um, especially with the, uh, you know, the 80s, uh, Japanese cartoons, they mostly revolved around robots, Robotech, um, you know, stuff like that. Um, this guy is definitely one of the, the must-haves of any, uh, collector if, if you have the means for it, of course. Um. He is he's one of those one of those figures that uh, it's it's just uh, amazing to look at, um, but it's definitely definitely only for the serious collector. Um, so uh, there you guys go. That was Voltron, Defender of the Universe, and uh, you guys have an awesome day.